Where do I even begin? Honestly, I don't really know how to even start off this experience video because I have so much to talk about, so much to show you, tell you. I'm still in PCD mode. It's been four days since my show <laughs> at the time of me filming this, but I just, I'm not okay. So anyway, let's start with Saturday. Ooh, the first day of the show. I was so nervous. I mean, I was excited because I've never seen them live and I've been waiting for this for God knows how long. But I was nervous because I didn't know the set list. I'm like, what are they gonna hit me with? And I just kept thinking of like, worst case scenarios. I was like, what if they do Spring Day? What if they did Born Singer? Like, there was so many things going through my head and I was just not in the right mind. But we got ready. We decided we weren't gonna get merch that day. We wanted to do it Sunday. Um, so we didn't show up to the stadium until later in the day, but no later than four o'clock, right? Because I'm. I got a little story for you. Gates didn't open until 5.30 and the show didn't start until 7.30. So getting there no later than 4 o'clock, we figured that's not a problem. Like we just want to get an army bomb this day. They usually have different booths for the army bomb besides the merch because the merch line is a whole other story. When I tell you that this line wrapped around the field and the building and the parking lot, I'm not joking. We figured if we're just getting an army bomb, it's not going to be that big of a deal. We want to make sure we get there early enough so we can get it because to our knowledge, it was just gonna be in that section of the field of like the fan fest where you can get merchandise, you can get an army bomb, you can pair your army bomb, um, and that'd be it. We sit there, it's a little warm, but definitely not Arizona weather, so I was really happy about that. I'm like, thank you, California. Love this nice little breeze you got going on. Wait in line, way in line, slowly moving, but surely moving. It hits five o'clock, we're still going. It hits 5.30. Still going. We can kind of see like where the tent is at that point. Bit closer to six and I'm starting to get like heat stroke. That's the word. Do I still have it? Probably. But anyway, I decided to go on Twitter and just like tweet and see what you guys were saying. And y'all had the nerve to tweet me and say, good luck at your show. Black hair Jimin is gonna be at your show. There's no way he's gonna perform serendipity with black hair. That's a lie. That is a cruel joke. But it wasn't. Also, which I thought was really sweet, while I was in line, this girl came around and she was handing out like little free gifts and like cards. Super, super sweet. And look at this card I got. Like what? Anyway, back to the story. 10 to 15 feet away from the booth where they're selling the bombs. It was about 6.30 at this point and they close it down. Shoo everybody off in line, even though we were so close, like there were still so many people behind us. And they're like, nope, you gotta go in line, you gotta go into the stadium. So obviously at that point, I was a little peeved. I was like, I just waited two and a half hours in the sun to not even get my army bomb. That's a joke. Not very funny, Rose Bowl, I wanna fight. So we get in line to go into the stadium. That goes pretty quickly, but that's because we may or may not have found like a shortcut in you know? We get inside and we're greeted with just the biggest like slap in the face. I've never felt like Boo Boo the Fool more than I did in that moment. We walk in and we see booths on booths on booths of merchandise and army bombs with much shorter lines than there were outside. So I was like, this entire time we could have been in here. I could have gotten my merch now, army bomb. And we get in line, all of a sudden it hits seven o'clock and they tell us, that's it. We're not taking any more sales. I don't care if you have cash, I don't care if you have card. We're not allowed to take any more purchases because I guess Big Hit told them at seven o'clock they need to shut down everything to make sure everybody got into their seats by 7.30, which I can respect, but I was mad at that point. I was like, girl, I still don't have an arm bomb. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Which, I mean, at the end of the day, it was fine, but whatever. It was just more annoying. So if I had to tell you anything from the story is if you can buy merchandise inside, do that instead. I sit down in my seat. I'm in D2, I'm in the back row. And before we even start, like I knew this happened. I knew that they played music videos and everything, but I was so amazed by how loud the crowd was with fan chants already. Like we were hyped, we were ready. I was scared. I was gonna pee my pants a little bit, but that was okay, like I was ready. And then the show starts. 
started. I'm gonna apologize now though for any um, swearing you may hear. Any suggestive terms of endearment you may hear, but enjoy the clips. <laughs> Yourself, speak yourself, here and let's go! It was all nice to meet you. Ah, your whole. You're my whole. I'm sure. Hey guys, my name's B. Guys, I'm Sugar. Hello. I'm worldwide handsome. Okay, Rosbo, what's up? What's up? I'm Ray Sugar. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, Jimmy.
trying to be Dr. Strange, but I forgot the rope might get this ring. So I'll do that as well. Alright, let's go next! Let's roll! <laughs> Just want to take a quick intermission real quick to explain this next clip because um it's a mess. Again, since this was the first show, I didn't really know what the set list was gonna be, but once the show started, I kind of had an idea of it, and I knew Serendip- or not Serendipity. <sighs> Black haired Jimin, hi. F me up, that's fine. I knew Singularity was coming up, and I was super excited for that stage. It's one of my favorite solo stages, not just because Tay is one of my biases, but because of the production, him with the freaking coat rack and everything. So I was like, I'm gonna film my reaction to seeing it live. I'm excited, like it's gonna be cute. And then he has the audacity to change his entire set and I was not prepared. None of us were prepared. But being in the crowd that night was an experience. Um, so please enjoy my mental breakdown of seeing Singularity live. <laughs> Save. Oh. Nope.
shows and it's so true when people say you either remember every single detail or you just black out and unfortunately I'm on the blackout side of things because I was way too emotional that first night I couldn't stop crying so a lot of it is just like poof out my head specifically I remember during idol like just ascending I don't know why during idol but I was just standing there I couldn't move everyone's like you can love me loving myself ha and I'm just Just gone. I don't know. And then Tear happened. Y'all know. Y'all know. Tear was that one song that I was like, I'm going to see it live and I'm going to be dead on the floor. Like, bury me under the stadium because I'm not leaving. Um, and that's what happened. After I, like, filmed it, I had to hold on to the chair in front of me and, like, take deep breaths because I could not comprehend that I just saw that live. And not only that, from that, they went into mic drop, so I didn't even have a chance to, like,
Mr. Thurs! Let your light shine on us. Put your lighters up in the sky. Come on. Okay, that's... I mean the cell phone. Lena, Lena! Yeah! We prepared this song for you. Because you are the light to our planet. Please listen, listen. The bombs up. Bombs up. The bombs up. Okay. We need the bombs up. Okay. One more time. Let's go. One, One two, three. Boom, boom. Uh oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're proper you. <laughs> yo, yo, check it. Kapu. 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 Excuse me. <laughs> 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 to remember, let's have it four times. Oh, oh good idea! Okay, let's do it four times. Okay, let's four times. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you, but... Are you nervous? Can you put your lighters one more time? For the photo? Not bombs. I mean the cell phone. Sorry. <laughs> cell phone? <laughs> yeah, cell yeah, phone. Put your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, woo! Okay. Now, let's go. Okay, everybody? Okay? Okay. One, two, three, cheesy! Okay, one more time. One, more time. one two, three! Okay, the time has come. Now, we're going to say how we felt tonight, and today we're going to start it with, come on, Mr. Boxer, shoot him. Show me your boxer, show me your moves. Man, oh, who's going? Who's going to do it today? Rose Bowl, this has been one of the most incredible nights of my life. Sit down, what are we going to do? Honestly, I don't know what to say. This moment, when you and I are together, this is one of the most happiest moments of my life. As I was saying, Army, you and I are one. I want to say this again. I just want to say this one more time and I just want to thank Iron Man for... I love this yourself, Zach Ivy. My turn. Yesterday, I'm nervous. Today, good morning, I'm nervous. Now, I'm happy. <laughs> Every moment is a precious memory. Be <laughs> proper you? Thank you. That's why the competition is so excited. So all I can say is I'm looking very much forward to the next show tomorrow. 
아, 더 컨디션 관리를 잘하고 푹잘 먹겠습니다. So I'll rest up tonight to show you more tomorrow. I love you guys. This place is just something else. It's so so weird. It's so beautiful. As a performer, this is truly an honor. Also, an incredible moment. <laughs> you made this impossible. Yo, um... Yesterday, I was nervous. Good morning, I was nervous. Okay, so dance, dance and rehearsal. Got a lot of rehearsals. Think I was ready for this, but, you know, Something was wrong with my earphones, something was wrong with my was it, headset, something was wrong with my Dr. Strange ring. Well, whatever. This is the most important night in my life. And that concludes day one. I know, very eventful, a lot to take in. How do you think I feel? That's probably why I'm not human at this point. Now we move on to Sunday, May 5th. This time we were in section 14L, row 21, and I do have to say real quick, if you are on the shorter side, definitely go for the higher seats because I prefer floor, but I'm taller. I'm about five, seven and a half, five eight. My best friend Davis, she's five five. Um, and she preferred the second day seats over the first day seats just because it was easier to see. Also, second day, I got this little goodie bag from somebody. It says, thanks for supporting BTS, thanks for being an ARMY, enjoy the show. With all these cute little, like, pictures of all of them. Day two was a lot easier for me personally because I knew what the set list was. I could be somewhat calmer. Mmm, that's kind of a lie, but oh well. Anyway, this is the footage from day two. Enjoy. Get up, get up, get up. Yeah.
I will always be a fan of your army. I hope that you will be really an army because of something. I promise the seven of us will go and cheer you on. Thank you. And because of that, there is something that I want to say to you. You are the reason in my life that it keeps me going. You are the reason why I am here today. So, so I love you. Love you. Thank you. Thinking of today, I want to come back to the Rose Bowl and relive the memories that we share tonight. If you guys let us, I promise that we'll come back soon. It feels like I'm surrounded by stars tonight. So when we come to the stadium, we can kind of see the seats. It feels like I'm in an NBA Finals, actually. Army, your smiles, your happiness truly brings meaning to my life. It is a beautiful man with all of you tonight. We received so much energy from your army so that, so that uh, we can perform happily tonight. It's such a precious memory to all of us and this memory will stay that way forever. were the best, best, best kickoffs I ever had to start a tour. From 2013, Bye, man. six years ago, <laughs> through many, many names. You know, I was, uh, we was, we were RM, J Ho, Jimmy, Jungle, Jim, Lee, Sugar, Boy Band, K-Pop, Seven Boys from Korea, or just Koreans. Idol, artists, music, anything. And you guys, your things were, you guys were our school. You guys were our dream. You guys were our happiness. You guys were our wings. You guys were our cosmos. You guys were our lifetime. You guys were our most beautiful moment in life. I love, I love all the names and all the, all the words we have, but 
tonight, this moment, let's just forget it. You know, let's just call, call us, call each other. You know, we're just BTS, you guys are on me. At the same time, you guys are BTS and you were your army. Wherever you're from, wherever you speak, however old you are, you know, in this Ross Bowl, tonight, we are one. We speak the same thing. We speak the same voice. We speak. We speak the same language. This is communion, what we call a communion. I love you. Oh, thank you so much. I never forget all of you, all of you stories on me. Let's keep speaking the same language, okay? This is the very last song for you guys. Let's go. Please put your cell phones out one more time for this song. Let's try it. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. going to go somewhere to sit down and wait for our friends who were going to get more merch and um, we ended up seeing Liam you know the Australian interview the interviewer he was there and he was wearing a pink persona shirt that um, they were selling at the pop-up shop 
And I, oh, I kind of regret not saying anything because I wanted to stop him. Not necessarily get a picture, but just to say like, hey, thanks for being an amazing interviewer for the boys and making them feel comfortable. Like you're one of the only people I like watching <laughs> interview them, but I was, I don't know, I was like too shy and he was kind of in a hurry. Anyway, to wrap up this video, I want to talk about the members real quick because I know this video is gonna be way too long and no one actually cares. But seeing them in person definitely changed like my perspective of them. And a lot of people always say that once you go to the show, your bias and your bias records usually change. And that may have happened, ladies and gentlemen. So I just wanna talk about that just really quick. So um, let's start with Kim Nam Joon. Nam June is 75% legs. No one can tell me anything else. His melanin was popping, his dimple was the cutest, and his humor, I honestly think is super underrated. I didn't realize how funny he was until being in person and seeing like how quick-witted he is. Also, I still can't get over the fact that I think it was the second day after like having the whole issues with the cameras and the bombs and the confusion, he was like, sorry to bother you again, but can you put your phone up? And I'm like, Nam June, do you not know? <laughs> your fan base is like we would literally give you our left kidney if you asked for it what do you mean sorry to bother you like this is your show you're just... so cute i love him anyway Jin. so when it comes to Jin, it's not a joke when people always talk about like how wide his shoulders are because i could tell where he was at on stage no matter what just because i could see his build he is built so differently than the other boys he's so Ooh, he's so wide, but like in the best way, you know what I mean? Like I just want to sit under him and have him protect me. That sounds so weird. Also, the thing that I noticed with Jin that I've always kind of known, but I really saw it in person was his, um, what is it? Duality? Duality? Whatever. Negative two brain cells really kicking in. When they would be talking or if he was just on stage, just running around, like doing Ampam Man and everything, he has such a like good energy in his eyes and just his soul and his aura and everything. But then during Epiphany, when he looked into that camera, I felt my soul just like sucked out of my body. And I was like, holy sh can we please cast him in a K-drama right now? Because that switch up, was insane and I'm never gonna get over it. Okay, let's go to Yoongi. <sighs> what I was saying earlier about people bias wrecking you that you didn't think could do it live, um, I was talking about Yoongi. I, oh, the cutest bub. The cutest little bub, I just wanna put him in my pocket. I didn't realize how small he was until I saw him live. Like not even like height wise, just like his body, he's very petite. Oh, but he's so talented, like I, Mmm. Like, I don't buy his Yoongi, but that may change. I don't know. I really don't know. Am I gonna have a triple bias? Possibly. I think it really hit me during Ann Pan Man <laughs> because I watched Jin and I think Nam June go into the cutout on one part of the stage and they fit perfectly and then Yoongi went into it and his head didn't even fit the head part. It was in the neck of the cutout and it just destroyed me in so many different ways. I, ugh. I have to move on, okay. Do we even need to talk about Hobie? I don't think so, but I'm gonna have to because he's one of my biases and I am angry. I am so mad. Cause he's even cuter and better in person. He is the one person that a lot of people say um, bias wrecks them when they go to a show. So if you have him as your bias, you're screwed. There's no other way to put it. You're gonna leave just devastated. Especially because obviously we all call him Sunshine. He's just this little positive little bub, but it's so different in person. And I've always known this, that he brings a lot of energy to the team, but I really saw it live. Like just watching them when they would interact with each other and doing their ments and everything. He brings so much energy to the team. It's insane. Like actual sunshine and I will never forgive him because I got to see both sides of him first night I saw hope second night I saw Jay the second he popped up on stage and I saw him wearing the sunglasses I was like goodbye that's it going on to Jimin so like we discussed black hair Jimin during serendipity um I did not know I needed that 
until it happened. Also, I always thought of Jimin and Yoongi around the same size. They are not the same size whatsoever. Again, Yoongi is very petite and shorter. Not short, but he's shorter. Um, Jimin's shorter, as we know, but he's not petite. I would say he's more lean. Like, he definitely has muscles and he has a build. And, um, I don't know why. Like, that was the thing that really stuck out of my mind. I'm like, he's not as small as I thought he was. Also, I think I was really impressed with his stage presence because he knows how to, like, switch it up in the best way possible. If he wants you to feel a certain way, he's gonna make you feel a certain way. Because during the beginning of Serendipity, you know, he's... Pop the bubble. Like, and it's just so serene and relaxed but then i think back to like mic drop and i think back to idol and all of those kind of songs and he was like on you know what i mean okay so then going on to tay my other bias oh good lord oh good lord to be honest anytime he was on stage i kind of blacked out um so i don't really have a lot to say but <laughs> he is another member that is a lot leaner in person than i thought he was and i don't know why but his voice sounds better in person than it does like in videos there's something that's very soothing about it just his speaking voice not even his singing voice and i've always thought this too but again seeing it in person just kind of solidified it how mysterious he is as a person because on stage he's very present he has a very i almost want to say intoxicating aura about him like you just can't not watch him and him speaking english just like made my day what did he say yesterday I'm nervous. <laughs> it was the cutest thing in the entire world. Okay, and last but not least, Jungkook. Let me just tell you this. They don't call him Muscle Pig for nothing. This boy is literally just one big muscle with a tiny ass waist, and I'm so jealous. He is so built. His neck is so thick. Like, Ooh, I don't I don't understand like he has such nice body proportions, but at the same time He is another member who is like super attractive can make you feel certain ways But he's still like a baby boy because I always think back to day two I believe when Namjoon was doing like the whole cell phone thing again And Jungkook goes to him and he's telling him to make them or to make us put our army bombs down so they could see the cell phone light And just like how excited he was like ah, He's so cute. Okay um yeah, and I'm very surprised with like how stable his live vocals are. I think honestly live he's one of the, I don't want to say like one of the best, but I just really noticed it. And I think that was because of Euphoria with him being pink. I was like, this bitch is really in the air, what are you doing? Um, and he sounded perfect even though he was like flying around and everything. So I was really impressed by that. But honestly, seeing them live, the saying of them eating their CDs became more apparent and more real. Again, something we've been known, but just was solidified seeing them live and... <sighs> yeah, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> Overall, being able to see them live and in person is an experience that I'm never gonna forget, especially going two days. And I can't wait for them to go on tour again, which is crazy because I'm like, please, go get some rest but also like when are you coming back <laughs> because I'm gonna take my sister like let me take everybody that I possibly can so we can all have a good ass time and experience the phenomenon that is BTS oh before I go actually I wanted to show you the the slogans that we got this is what it looks like that's the front this is the back and this one is for night two this is the back your melody is our remedy. I'm like, okay, you don't want to perform that song. You also don't want to perform Home, but we're not gonna talk about that because I don't know who said they heard them sound checking it and got my hopes up for them to just be crushed because that was mean. Home will take her place next to um, Paradise as deserving better. But that's a topic for another day. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's all I have for this video. I say that as this video is like 45 minutes long and no one asked for it. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you have any questions or want to talk to me about the show or like merch things, whatever it may be, leave it down in the comments down below. I'll try my best to answer them as quick as I possibly can. I love you. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one.